Goodbye, Indian Ocean. Hello, Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and part of Delos is in the Atlantic. Previously on Delos, we leave our protected harbor in Richards Bay for a super fast sail down the wild coast of South Africa. We make it into St. Francis Bay in the middle of the night and are guided in by some awesome local South African dudes. Yeah, that's a Peter and that's Ivy. Yeah, right. And they were nice enough to come out and meet us in the dinghy, bring us in. Tie us it turned out Peter had seen a few Delos episodes on YouTube and heard we were in South Africa. He sent us a message and invited us to his home port of St. Francis Bay. We were so stoked to have Delos in such a safe place as we once again had to wait for the next low to blast through. It looked like this one was going to stick around for a bit longer, so we had the awesome opportunity to really get to see the area and party with these lekker South Africans. So, uh, hopefully we'll see some, <laughs> some elephants some elephants and lions and see Sounds what we like make a perfect day, man. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> Look at this truck, too. So this is your business. Yeah. Silver Lake Marine. That's like a oh, yeah. holy shit. That's a fifth, that is a fifth leg. That's a fifth leg. Hold on, I gotta zoom in on that thing. Get out of my territory. I must have never seen that. Jesus Christ! It's man, I had no idea. I didn't even know an animal could have a dick to leg ratio like that. <laughs> Thing. So this is our first bunny chow, which is like a big chunk of bread with the center dug out and then it's filled with like a curry. So we've got potatoes and veggies and meat and we have to get out of the car to eat it otherwise you make a terrible mess. got a whole bunch of hot wars on top of some cold wars. Wars, not <laughs> sausage. Wars. Yeah, wars. What's the difference between wars and sausage? Uh, we are wars buying, is, we're not fucking barbecuing. <laughs> wars is original made, it's organic food. <laughs> and sausage is processed meat. <laughs> are you guys check the fuck? Alright, prepare, 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 bag. prepare the tea bag. And the tea bag down. <laughs> We're not gonna go any further than that. <laughs> Proud of you, kid. You did well. We're back at the dock. We're back Come at the dock. Come on. Eh. 
Lijkt het zo of ik nou geboren is. Wat je niet zegt. Am I just born or not? <laughs> Am I just born or not? Ja, maar. Wat de fuck zijn mijn video's? <laughs> Peter's, Peter's okay. taken our our outboard and he's got a sweet shop here called Silver Lake Marine and he's taken the outboard and he's gonna give it a full service. How cool is that? So cool. It needs it really bad. We were gonna do it in Cape Town, so we're just checking things off the list. Peter's the man. The man. The man. The man. <laughs> Hooking us up. So the last couple of years we've noticed some corrosion on the gooseneck for the main and we really haven't been in a good place to weld it but here peter just happens to have a friend that's got a welder and can do aluminum work so we're gonna we've got the main boom off and we've got the weld uh, the damaged part of the gooseneck cleaned up and the oxidation removed and now with any luck we're gonna weld it assuming we don't get blown off the dock here How does this welder work, Ben? From what I understand, you have to heat up the aluminum because it sucks the heat out so quickly. So they're using a LPG torch right now to get it nice and hot. And then the welder is an arc welder, but it uses an argon gas, and kind of the inert gas prevents the weld from oxidizing as you're welding, which is what I learned in the last 30 seconds of talking. <laughs> What are you guys doing over here? Secret. Secret. <laughs> Looks like you're getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's smoking, whatever you're doing. Oh, they've got a little alien inside here. <laughs> Just a little one. You well with it? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, man. No. Um, so, once I've done the duck, I'm getting there. So, what's the next step, Brady? We are going to put some primer on it to seal the aluminum. Paint it up real nice. Put the mask back on, I mean the boom back on. Then we're good to go. So uh, we're getting pretty close on the repair of the gooseneck. Brady has gotten it nice and what did you do, Brady? Paint it? Uh, yes. Yes, he uh, primered it and painted it and we had new bushings made, which is what caused the problem in the first place. The boom was actually getting too close to the gooseneck and wearing the paint away and then it started to corrode. So we've got new bushings in there that I just put in and now we've just got to line it up, bolt it in, be ready to go. So this is Ivy. He works Hi. at Silver Lake Marine here and he's been hooking us up with like all sorts of stuff like fixing the dinghy, place to store the boat, giving us rides, dinner at his house. Awesome stuff. Oh, great. And so we've invited him to go sailing with us to Cape Town. Oh, I've gone way to do that. It'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the busiest time of year yeah, too. It's the, the busiest, busiest time. time is... And he's like, fuck it, I'm taking off. <laughs> but, his, but his boss is Peter. Yeah, <laughs> and he's awesome. And he's, he's going to let him take a couple of days off. Oh, great. So good on him. Not only did we have Ignatius Bartholomew with us, aka Ivy, Karen's mom flew down from Sweden to spend some time with us as well. Hey. How do you feel, mom? I mean, it's so exciting, I just can't believe it. I'm actually sailing around Cape of Good Hopes. We're right here. And Cape Town? And Cape Town is right here. So if we leave at like 8 tomorrow, then 24 hours into our trip should put us like about halfway. That's somewhere okay. over here, so we'll have still downwind, still light. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more wind. The trick is we want to get around the Cape, by f that's 48 hours in, we definitely want to be around this corner. Yes. So if we're not able to make as much speed as we want, then we'll either, our first bailout would be Mossel Bay, mm -hmm. the second bailout would be going into 
Simon's Town. Yep, Simon's Town. Yeah. Maybe we could make it, maybe not, yeah. but I think we are going to go yeah. for it. Really so like I'd it. say, if you want to come here early, like 7-ish, okay. is that cool? That's and then cool. we'll try and set sail by like maybe 8 or so. Of course, we'll look at the weather in the morning again. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. the afternoon. Perfect. And, and if it changes, then we'll give you a call. But yeah. Let's We're going sailing tomorrow, Karen. Why are you cleaning the boat? Fuck, yes. right. of bird shit. <laughs> and let's see. So Peter has been amazing. Helping us out here, it's getting so much work done that we normally wouldn't have got done. Yeah. Or we've gotten done in Cape Town, maybe, but it's been so great here. So, Karen made up this label. And we've got some cinnamon, vanilla, rum. Pita. Oh, look at this, he's vanillas. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. This is way cool. <laughs> thanks, thanks for everything, Peter. Are you ready to go sailing? Oh, yeah, let's go to Cape Town. Mr. Brady. Yeah. Time to go sailing. <laughs> How excited are you? Oh, I'm ready. All good. All good. Morning. I was in orbit of Pluto, basking in absence of light. When you cast your moon rays across the sky that night. Here we go! On our way to Cape Town. I think we'll have to do a little bit of motoring. But Brent, the wind's not going to be as much, but at least it won't be against us, I think. So we came out all safe. Feels good. The sun is shining. It's a good day. It's a really good day. I was in orbit of Pluto. Basking in absence of light When you cast your moon rays across the sky that night Seaman I be doing. <laughs> he's got he's got chaka in his blood. When's the last time you puked sailing, Brady? From sailing. I don't I think don't I've know. ever puked. I don't think I've ever. I've never puked. I mean, sometimes I feel a bit. But yeah, Karen just gets tired and then she goes to bed. <laughs> yeah, Karen. Two minutes into the trip, and Karen's passed out. Is she down there? Yeah. Is she in bed or on the? She's on the sea. Your mom is not feeling good. Shit. Maybe give her a glass of water or something. Yeah, she's puking right now. Yeah. How are you feeling, Brielle? Okay, a little tired. It's been uh, a little rolly and rocky so far. It's been big swells and not a lot of wind, so we've been motor sailing pretty much the last couple hours to try and keep our speed up. Because there's some uh, weather coming from the west again, and we want to make sure that we round Cape Agulas before that hits. So we're trying to average six or seven knots, which we're doing nice. And uh, it's cold, we're drinking tea. That's it. And here we are, on our way to Cape Town. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and I've woken up a pretty gloomy day. It's raining. But we have been going like around seven knots the whole night, so we've done pretty good mileage even though we've been motoring. And now with all these rain squalls around, the wind is just shifting like all over the place. So we'll see what happens right there. It's not too far away from the point. It's 
sun came out. The sun, but not the wind. There is no wind. We're motoring. Yeah. Motoring on calm seas. It's nice. How far are we off the Agulat line? We are currently approximately 36 miles from the most southern tip of Africa, right here. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, and then after we round that, we'll head a little bit more westerly and uh, hopefully be in the Cape Town tomorrow afternoon. We have to get in before dark so we can get under the bridges. Yep. And there's no wind, so we're just motoring, motoring, motoring. It's nice, quite boring. Yep. Sure beats beating into it though. Yeah. And there we were, motoring our way towards one of the three great capes in the Southern Ocean. There's Cape Horn off South America, Cape Agulhas off Africa, and Cape Lewin off Australia. And they have all been infamous since the dawn of sailing. There's even stories dating back as far as 130 BC, describing ships that were lost, trying to find the connection between the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Although most of the tales come from the spice trade days of the 15th and 16th century. Ships sailing from Europe would bring silver and gold to the east to trade for spices such as pepper, cloves, and nutmeg, before returning back to Europe with their ships loaded down with spice. To a sailor, Rounding Cape Agulhas and the Cape of Good Hope has and always will be a huge accomplishment. Cape Agulhas is where the warm currents of the Indian Ocean come head to head with the cold waters of the Atlantic. This fluctuation in sea temperature can cause some pretty gnarly conditions. Then you mix in the low pressure systems we've been dodging this whole passage and you can see why the area is also known as the Cape of Storms. We were super lucky though. All the variables were in our favor. It seriously felt like we were motoring around on a lake. Oh, hello, Miss Rainy. <laughs> Are you done yet? Done. A couple more pages. Exciting. It's a good book. Fantastic book. It's rolly, so we gotta put the pole out. Or else the sail is smacking against the stays. Not enough wind to keep it full. But it's gonna be a good sunset. Separates the Indian Ocean from the Atlantic Ocean. We're gonna hit it, bro. Soon. Fuck. <clears throat> Goodbye, Indian Ocean. Hello, Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and part of Delos is in the Atlantic. Before anything, we must thank Neptune and give him a little bit of our ginger rum. Thank you, Senor Neptune, for our safe passages of another ocean. Yes. Yeah, give it to Ivy. Yes. Go, yes. Ivy. Martha, yes. come here. Hmm. <laughs> wow, <that's> so beautiful. <laughs> it's a good one. Dude, that sunset behind you is epic, man. Here, Martha, we just got into the Atlantic Ocean. 
That's so cool. Have a swig of that. Skål. Skål. Mm. What? We're in the Atlantic. That's crazy. Here's for the Atlantic Ocean. Good job. Look at this crazy lady coming out of the buildings. <laughs> when are you listening to Harry Potter again? What? <laughs> yeah. oh. You'd be so good if you had birds on your shoulders right now. Birds? Yeah, like crazy bird lady. <laughs> good job. So the time is approaching uh, half past three in the night. I've also had uh, delphins, dolphins accompanying the car. The, oh. So I will take it one more time. I can't be able to, I don't, oh. guess what? I'm sailing south of Africa on Delos. How does that sound? Africa is there. Antarctica is there. Crazy, eh? My no night watch has been super. Clear skies, lots and lots of stars, calm seas, just a few cargo ships and lots of dolphins. I wish I could show you on film, but I don't think that's possible. So, bye bye from this night watch. Have a great one. Tomorrow, Cape of Good Hopes. What a beautiful way to be welcomed in to the Atlantic Ocean. Have dolphins with us and a crazy sunrise. How do we feel? We feel super. We're doing the crosswords and we've got the Cape of Good Hope right there. Isn't that amazing? Making our way to the breakwater to head into VNA Marina. Thank you very much, sir. Hello, sir. Good question. Um, your nationality flag, sir? Over. Nationality is USA. Over. USA. Thank you very much. I need to know also um, your last port of call and how many people on board, please. Okay, the last port of call was uh, Cape St. Francis, or Port St. Francis, and we have five persons on board, over. Five crew on board, thank you very much.
very much for everything. It was awesome. It's been great. It's been hugs, hugs, it's been hugs. Awesome. awesome journey. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it's been yeah. great, man. Yeah, well, thank you really so much good. for everything. Yeah. Next up on Delos, we take advantage of life at the dock. Have an epic summer in Cape Town. And get some new crew for the upcoming season. In South Africa, when you're bra, you tend to bend the shit out of your hands a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's one problem we haven't perfected in the system yet, you know. Oh, you were braing last night. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you busy there with? Busy bending my fucking hands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm busy with. <laughs>